South Africa is seen as the in into Africa around GMOs. The Department of Agriculture uh, loves GMOs. Uh, we hear stories of them giving seed packs to poor people to grow food that are GMO unknowingly. So it's all a little bit dodgy, to say the least. As far as tests of people eating GM food, for instance, South Africa, we grow the world's first um, staple crop, GM maize, which is not changed at all. In other parts of the world where genetically modified food is being grown, it's uh, highly processed. In South Africa, maize is a staple crop, and all that happens is that it's boiled. And uh, we're basically engaging in a huge experiment on people. We don't really know what the effects may be of, of the modifications that we introduce into these species. Uh, we live in a world now where there is a much higher prevalence of various illnesses and diseases and we pretend that we don't know where these things come from. And when the GM food industry says, says oh, nobody's got sick from eating GM food, that's nonsense because how do you know if nobody's got sick from eating GM food? If people get sick from eating the food, if it's not labelled, if it's not traced through the system, if people are getting sick, how do you know what it's from? Uh, probably something like 30% of our maize is GMO. So because we're not required to segregate or label our food, uh, you can pretty much guess that one third of every packet of pup you buy has got GMOs in it. And just to say that while well, people have been eating GMOs for all this time and no one's died, uh, how can you prove that they haven't died? So when they die, how do you know what the root cause is? Genetically modified crops are like all of the other industrial crops. They require high inputs. They are devised for industrial agriculture. And as much as the promoters and producers of genetically modified crops say that they, they are useful for small-scale African farmers, um, wherever they've been used for small-scale African farming, they've been very highly controlled by the same agricultural companies that are, are basically producing them. They've, they've gone in with massive support, infrastructural support mechanisms with pesticides, fertilizers that were never available before. Uh, something like 50,000 farmers in India committed suicide uh, because they were unable to produce the food they wished and were unable to harvest and grow food from the seed they had saved because the seed's designed to die after one generation. So a lot of people around the world are saving their seed like they have forever, planted a crop and nothing came up. Of course they starved. <laughs>